So today we're going to take a look at Sukunya's Corporate Software Inspector. Uh, this is video number two. We're going to be reviewing the scan results of the agents and then creating a patch in the CSI for third-party applications. So first you can see that we're actually looking at the hosts that have agents installed. We also showed you how to install agents in video number one and now we're going to take a look at these results of these hosts. So let's close this window. So you can see first that we've divided it by sites and by host. The host gives you an overview of all of the hosts that are scanned on your network. So let's take a look at one of them just to give you an idea of what kind of information you can find. Right click, view scan results. First we have an overview. So we can see that the total amount of programs on here is 36. We can have a breakdown of the insecure, end of life, patched, and a Sukunya system score. When we hit on scan result, you can see the detailed information. So actually every program name, down to the version number and the state, the SAID, which is the Sukunya Advisory ID number, and then the criticality. Actually, we can sort by any of these column headers. I've sorted by state already so that we can see the two end of life and the four insecure at the very top. And then we can see what criticality rating they have, and you can always click on this link. You'll be connected to the Sukunya website, and then you'll get more information on that vulnerability, such as a description, the CVE reference number, so on and so forth. The next part what I'm going to show you is how you can view all of this information once you've scanned your entire network. You obviously don't want to take a look at it host by host. So first let's look at all. This is everything that has been found from the CSI scan and you can of course sort by all of these column headers as well. So we have insecure, end of life, patched, and the number of hosts that it's installed on. The next part, insecure, is probably the most useful because what this allows you to do is view just the insecure programs on your network and then you can sort by any of the column headers. For example, let's sort by criticality. We can see here that we have two extremely critical vulnerabilities. Maybe we want to prioritize those highest uh, on our network in terms of taking care of it. You can also sort by number of hosts that it's installed. Let's see here we can see that there's two programs that are installed in the most amount of hosts. Maybe that would be an important factor for you. And then furthermore we've divided it by end of life so you can view only the end of life programs and the patched so that you can easily view what's been patched and verify after you've pushed out patches that it's actually now on the patched list instead. Now what we're going to do is actually show you how we can patch those insecure programs. Let's close this and now I'm going to open the patched section. The first time that you use Sukunya CSI, you go into configuration. And here is where you connect to your WSUS server. We actually walked you through this process in video number one. So you can see now that the signing certificates are installed and the group policy is correctly configured. So now what you can do is go into create. And here is a list of the programs that actually have vulnerabilities from the scan results that we viewed earlier. And let's take the first program here, Adobe Flash Player 10.x. When we right click, you can hit Create Update, and it gives you a list of all the paths where it's installed. So I'm just going to select all of them, and then hit Next. And here you see that what we always provide you with is the direct download from the vendor. In this case, I've already downloaded this from the vendor, so I just browse for it. 
choose that and now here you see that the silent install parameters are listed which is always provided for you which of course means that this patch is going to be deployed silently to all users on your network let's hit next now you can actually change the name of the package if you wish I'm just gonna leave it and we finish so now you can see the update was successfully created and published to your WSYS server let's click OK and now we go into available here you can see the package that we just created below it is actually the Sukudnya CSI agent which we created in video number one for the Adobe Flash Player you can see it's not approved yet so we right click it go to approve and now you actually have a list of the groups from your WSYS server so I'm going to choose test group to first push out my package to click OK and now we can see that it has been approved if you have Microsoft's SCCM you do not need to do this last step because once you've published the package you can actually find it on your SCCM which we go through in video number three now what we're actually going to do is take a look at the Windows update on one of the hosts so that we can actually show that it's working correctly and following the settings that you have in your environment so here we can see the CSI agent and the Adobe Flash Player patch that we created once we selected those will be installed. This is of course going to follow the same settings that you have on your WSUS. so if that's silent then this will also be silently installed. And now you can see that the installation was successful and this concludes video number two. In our next video we'll show you how the CSI integrates with Microsoft's SCCM.